Hello everyone, I am Dr. Aradhana Singh. I am working uh, as a consultant gynecologist with Fortis Hospital, Noida. IVF is uh, the full form of IVF is in vitro fertilization. Nowadays, everybody knows about it in vitro fertilization. In this, basically, what happens? The eggs and sperms they are taken from the body of the male and the female, and they are uh, fertilized in the lab. You know, so it's not in a natural process. They are fertilized and they are processed. You can say in the culture media in the laboratories. And then after two to six days of uh, maturity of the embryo, you can say embryo is transferred back to the uh, uterus of the female. And uh, this is called in vitro fertilization. Uh, the couple is definitely counseled about the whole process initially. The, uh, the patients are prepared. There are various investigations are done. The other causes of uh, infertility are ruled out. You know, in the female partner, there are various causes of infertility, like tubal damage, ovarian failure. Then the sometimes there's a problem with the uterus, uh, the cavity of the uterus. So that these all things are assessed prior to going for in vitro fertilization. Certain viral tests, sugar tests, thyroid tests. These all are done for both the couples, and even the uh, that's very important. The male partner partner is uh, checked for the semen quality and the sperm count and all and then they are counseled about the success rate and all and then the couple is prepared and the ovulation induction is done in which you know eggs are stimulated in the ovaries and then they are taken out from the body of the female and then the IVF is done. See uh, actually it depends the very important factor for the success rate of IVF is age. Age of the female is very important and the second factor is uh, the other causes. How, what was the actual cause of infertility? Sometimes if there is autoimmune factors in the female body, the IVF success, success rate is really low. And if you know other the mechanical causes like tubal damage and all are there, the success rate is can be higher. So with the age, if a lady is around 30, 35 years of age, the success rate goes up to around 30 percent, 32, you know, 30 and above also. But if the age of the lady is around 40 years, then the success rate will go somewhere around 11 percent or near about that. So uh, one should not be very hopeful. The couple should be knowing the success rate of IVF which ranges from 30 to 40%.